Okay, this is part two on our way to cholesterol. Um, again, I've broken it down into three sort of sub-steps. First, you've got to transfer the phosphates onto our mevalonate. Second, you decarboxylate here, and there should be a negative charge there. And lastly, you isomerize um, that compound to finally arrive at um, dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. So, let's look at the name dimethyl um, allyl, which refers to this sort of a system, pyrophosphate. So, uh, just to help you remember it better, maybe an allyl. So, an allyl refers to something um, with an R, kind of C, double bond. Um, so this sort of a system. This is an, an allyl system, okay? So you can see the re resemblance. They've added the dimethyl because you have methyls here, pyrophosphate because you have a pyrophosphate here. Okay, so let's look at the, the transfer of the phosphates on to start off. Um, so we left off with mevalonate. It's there. Let's transfer some phosphates on there. Uh, we transfer a phosphate on here, for example. So how does that how does that work? Maybe you want to see that attack, or maybe um, so you would have a base uh, come in, um, deprotonate here, and it comes onto there. So obviously this is within an active site. Um, what do we have? We have this anion, which goes on and attacks a phosphate. Um, of the a ADP, so um, I'm just going to do it like this, um, so I'm going to put ADP, okay, so um, we have the direct displacement here, and the group is effectively transferred on, okay, so that's the first one, that's easy. And it's the same for the other two. So in total, we transfer three phosphates on, okay? So I'm going to say OP for this one. And this one, we transfer two on in the same fashion. OPP, okay? So in this case, you would just attack on the, you'd have the ADP, you'd have the AMP, rather, and you'd attack one, one phosphate prior, right? Okay, so... We did, that's the end of the, uh, the adding of the phosphates. Three phosphates total, okay. Now we decarboxylate. So how do we do that? We collapse here and we cause this here. So now we see why it was activated. Now this can be a nice leaving group. We go out there. Okay, so I'm gonna draw it in the same style. So it's clear what we did here. Or, I'm sorry, that's decarboxylated in fact. So we have this, the methyl there, okay. So now we're really close already to this. All we gotta do is isomerize this double bond to here, right? So how do we do that? Well, uh, we're gonna have an acid. And <clears throat> just so you know, as far as I'm saying acid base, I'm referring to residues. So in this case, this would be like a, a glutamine residue. Or GLU it is so glutamine um, so this glutamine residue is um, attacked with this pi system gives up its um, proton what do we have we have a positive charge here and we have that proton here maybe we put it in proton here like this okay uh, then we also have protons here and now we have a cysteine residue so we have a base come in attack here and it's isomerized just like that you can even do this here um, yeah I hope you see this it's it's pretty straightforward um, this is you got the dimethyl groups here this carbon bond formed and then we have the OPP up here so same as, same as there. Okay, so that's the end of part two. We'll see you in the next video.